So we learned some standing poses last time. So let's look at some seated poses and then we'll put them all together. So this is called easy pose. Easy pose is where our heels, we're gonna to try to get our heels together. We're sitting up nice and tall. We're pressing our belly a little bit forward, pulling in with our belly all the time. Remember pulling in with your core. We're sitting up nice and tall. Our shoulders are relaxed down. My head is being pulled up to the sky. I'm taking some nice long, big, deep breaths. Let's do that together. Let's take three nice long, deep breaths together. We'll start with an exhale. Nice long inhale through your nose. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. All right, we're gonna go for a twist. Let's stay nice and tall. We're not gonna crunch over, we're staying nice and tall. So first let's take this left hand and it's gonna go on the outside of our right knee. So we're gonna place it on the outside of that right knee. We're gonna lift up nice and tall, pulling through your belly, pulling through your core. We're gonna to twist to the back. I'm not leaning on the right hand. This right hand is just down there for a tiny little bit of balance and I'm looking back. Still pulling in and up through my belly and looking to the back wall. Breathing to the count of three, two, and one. Come on back to center. Let's do the other side. Take the right hand on the outside of this left knee this time. Lift up for an inhale. Exhale, twist to the back, twisting your shoulders back, keeping your belly nice and engaged, looking to the back wall for three, two, and one. Come on forward. Let's just walk our hands forward. See if you can keep your sit bones down to the ground. And we're going to walk ourselves forward. Maybe your forehead goes down to the ground. Three nice, long, big, deep breaths here. And then walk yourself on up. And we're gonna go into what's called a stack pose. So where feet are coming forward. We're hugging your thighs in, hugging your calves in, hugging your ankles and your toes together. The toes are gonna to go flex up to the sky. Again, we're pulling them through our core, pushing our hips forward, our hands are down by our side. This should feel like a nice, strong, engaged pose. We have everything engaged. My spine is nice and tall. My legs are hugged together so I can feel the strength in my legs and toes are up to the sky. And we're sitting here, we're gonna breathe. Three, two, And one. We're going to go for a forward fold. So remember that strap I told you about. We can take a strap or a dish towel. We're going to take that strap or whatever you might have, wrap it around the balls of your feet. We're going to bring it forward. I like to wrap my hands around just a little bit, just give me a little bit more grip. And then I'm pulling myself forward, pressing my belly down to my legs, trying to get my chest just a little bit further. Nice big inhale and exhale. I'm going to tuck my chin round my back. See if I can get my forehead down to my knees. Three nice long big deep breaths here. And come on up. All right. Let's go for that butterfly pose. It's called Baddha Konasana in yoga. So we're bringing our feet, the soles of your feet together, and you can bring them in. Um, you can bring them in nice and tight if you're super flexible, or pull them out to look like a squished up diamond. Uh, the soles of your feet are together. We're going to interlace our fingers and we're going to put them underneath our pinky toes. We're going to pull up, which is going to help us straighten up our back a little bit. Again, take that nice long, deep, big, deep breath. Pull in through your belly, inhale, and with that straight back, even if we just come down just a tiny little bit, we're going to exhale and come forward. Three 
relax into that inner thigh stretch. Now let's come on up. And now we're going to open up. So now your feet are going to look like a diamond. Your legs are going to look like a diamond. Let's take that nice long, big, deep breath here. Now we're going to round your back, forehead to your toes. Exhale down. Now we might feel that stretch in the back of our hips here. All right, let's go into a tabletop. So we're going to be on hands and knees. Our shoulders are going to be over our wrists. Our hips are going to be over our knees. And we're pulling in through our belly, like we're trying to push our belly muscles to our back. So we're pulling in. So again, this should feel nice and strong. So now what we're going to do is called cat-cow. So you're going to round your back like a cat for the exhale. And inhale, we're going to stretch and arch our back and stretch our chin up to the sky. So let's try that. We're going to go exhale, round your back, round your shoulders, pull them through your belly, exhale. We're going to inhale, press your chest down, press your belly down to the ground. Keep your shoulders engaged, chin up to the sky for the inhale. And now cat, uh, cat exhale, round your back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, one, cow. So now we're going to go into that down dog that we learned in that first video. So our fingertips are going to be nice and spread apart. We're going to curl our toes, making sure that we're using our core to push up to our down dog. So we're going to take those, uh, the, our core, press our heels down to the ground, press our chest down to our knees. For three, two, and one. We're going to look at your hands. And we're going to take one giant step with the right foot and place it in between your hands here. So this should feel nice and strong here. We should feel a good stretch in your hip flexor and your hamstring right here. We're going to drop your back knee down. <clears throat> take that left knee down, and we're going to sit up nice and tall. When we go into this next pose, what we're going to try to do is make sure that my knee stays over my ankle. We're not going to come forward here. We're staying up nice and tall and our knee is over um, our ankle. So we're staying right here. We're gonna pull in through our belly just like usual. We're gonna inhale your arms up. And on the exhale, I'm gonna press this left hip down to the ground. So inhale, and then exhale, I'm pressing down and I should feel good stretch in that left hip flexor. All right, come on out. Let's reset in our down dog. So taking that right leg all the way back, down dog. And let's take some nice long big deep breaths right here. Looking through your hands, let's take the left foot forward. Left foot comes forward, runner's lunge. Drop your right knee down. Come on up. Keeping my knee over my ankle. I'm going to inhale my arms up, and then I'm pressing my left hip down to the ground this time. Staying up nice and tall through your chest and your back. Nice, long, big, deep breaths. Take your hands down, down, up, and we'll reset. Three long, big, deep breaths. Three, two, and one. This time we're going to step the right foot forward, but we're going to go into what's called pigeon. So we're taking that right foot forward. So I'm taking my left, uh, my right ankle next to my left hand, my right knee 
next to my right hand. And I'm just going to set it down right here. Then we're going to go into adjustments, okay? So maybe if I'm not so flexible, I'm going to start to drag that right foot over to the left thigh. I'm pressing back with my left leg on top of my foot here. And again, you can keep moving yourself forward. So maybe that right foot even goes under the right leg if you're not so flexible. And then you gradually scoop that foot up when you get more flexible. Want to stay off of this right hip. We're staying up and squaring our hips forward and trying to balance ourselves here. We should feel a nice, good stretch in that left hip flexor. Then we're going to go for a forward fold. Remember, you can use a block or a pillow or anything if you can't come all the way down to the ground. So we're just going to start to walk yourself forward just gently. So now what we're doing is we're not only feeling that stretch in the hip flexor, but we're feeling it in our right, our right hip, our right hamstring now. So you can stay right here, maybe coming down to the ground, placing your head on a block or on the ground. And we're just going to relax here for three, two, and then one. Let's come back up, stretch it up nice and tall, and then let's reset in our down dog. So we're going to take that right leg using our core to take that right foot back. Let's go ahead and just walk it out. Let's walk out our dog. So we're going to bend our right knee, press down with the left heel. Press the right heel down, bend your left knee. Making sure your chin is tucked. Let's switch sides. Looking through your knees. And one more. And then press both heels down. We're going to go left side pigeon. So looking at your hands, we're going to bring that right, the left leg up. The left foot is next to the right hand. The left knee is over to the right hand. So we're dropping that down and then you're going to make your adjustment coming down to the top of my foot and pressing that leg back. <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall, keeping my hips square, not sitting down on my left hip, but I'm up here so I feel the stretch through the hip flexor and my lower back. Now we're going to go for a forward fold. So do whatever adjustment that you need. Maybe this time one side might be different than the other, and you're coming down all the way to the ground and relaxing down, remembering keeping your hips square. So now we feel the stretch in our left side. <clears throat> all right, let's come on out of that. This time, instead of going to down dog, we're going to stay down on the ground. We're going to swing this right leg all the way around, and we're going to go into what's called fire log. So fire log. My left leg this time is going to be a little bit out. Instead of bringing it in, it's out here. Then I'm going to attempt to take this right foot, this right leg, on top of my left. My right ankle is going to meet my left knee. My right knee is going to be, meet my left foot. I'm going to come on down. Let's say you're up here. That's okay. We're going to gently see uh, week by week if you can get it down a little bit further. You can also, if it starts to hurt, you can prop it up with a block or a pillow. So we're going to gently see if we can get those legs down. This is a really good stretch for the sides of our hips. And again, you can, I'll put my block there and I can use it. So when we come down to a forward fold, I can rest my head on that block. I should feel good stretch back here. Walk yourself back up and we're going to just switch sides. So our right leg is going to go down this time. Left leg comes on top again. One side might be different than the other. So be gentle on yourself. If you need a prop for that left knee, go ahead and use that. 
And then you could just gently press down on that left knee if you'd like, just really gently. Once you get more flexible, more used to this pose, you'll be able to go down a little bit further. So we're gonna go ahead, walk yourself forward again. All right, come on up. We're going to go back into our easy pose. So you're taking those feet again, um, heels together, dropping those knees down, sitting up nice and tall. Let's go ahead, just drop the right ear to your right shoulder. We want to keep that, um, that right shoulder dropped. Nice, long left side. We don't want to bring the shoulder up to your ear. We're keeping that shoulder nice and relaxed and making sure that our head is nice and heavy over to the right side. And when we sit up nice and tall and then tuck our chin, we're going to feel good stretch in this upper spine. All right, come on up and then left ear to left shoulder, drop that left shoulder down, drop your right shoulder down, nice long stretch on your right side. Come on back to center. Let's take three nice, long, big, deep breaths, stretching out our ribs and our lungs. Inhale, stretch up to the sky. Hold your breath. Exhale, hands to your heart or down by your side. Again, let's take a nice, long inhale up, inhale. Hold, stretch, maybe rock your ribs out a little bit. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands to your heart or down by your side. Keep it going, you guys. You're doing awesome. We'll get one more video um, to show you guys how to put it all together. Namaste.